Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode on the Afterlife server. As you can see, I've just about finished the other end of the station, so we now have the little piggy faces on here, all of the purple and things around here. I've got my cool kind of magenta lights going along here, but then I, um, I ran out of magenta concrete, uh, so I'm going to need to get a bit more of that. But otherwise, this is pretty much done. I'm pretty happy with it, actually. Um, I mean, apart from all the parts that aren't done, and, and this guy who who missed the midnight train going anywhere and is now blocking <laughs> the entire station. But uh, I'm going to park this for a moment, guys, because I've just received a call from KB and Justin, and they want me to come over to the circus. On my way to the circus, I happened to spot that white fire was around in the nether, so um, we decided to bring him along too. I don't know what to do with him, though. I think we just leave him in the circus. You are circus people, though. You are the circus pig. <laughs> we actually let, let's let's build a, a tiny cage and then we put an, uh, signs around it saying the the infamous circus pig. <laughs> or something. Yeah, that'll oh work. Oh my god, that'll work. Yeah, I tried I tried flying with Mario's uh, player pick the last Oh my level. gosh, Blonde Skunk yeah. as well! Two for one! Two for the price of one! <laughs> Wait, where is he? where's Skunk? He was like hanging outside the uh the town hall, like just like you know where the, the beach bit is. <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> two for the price of one. <laughs> Wait, is that Piggy That's jail, Hugh. piggy jail. Oh we found another one. <laughs> Hugh is along the along the way. <laughs> I had, I had three. Uh, did you pick up the other lead? There you go. Go get him. I got you. Three for so, the <laughs> price of one. Three for the price of one. <laughs> this is like a crazy pig procession. To the circus. <laughs> to the circus. Cir circus life is good life. It won't hurt too much. <laughs> Depends what games we make them get involved in. <laughs> By the way, have you heard the circus music? I've heard it in your oh, yeah. video, but yeah. I haven't heard it in real life yet. Can I? Can we hear the circus music? I'm very excited. Yes. Let's uh, add our first act to the circus, and then we'll play the music as well. We are welcoming the first act to the circus, which will be... I don't know, what, what are we calling it? The, the infamous piggies. Or the, the dancing pigs. Oh, yeah. Are we placing all of them in the same... <laughs> the same oh, It's up to you. Well, they're okay, very go, dangerous go. pigs, aren't they? You know, they all need to be in there. <laughs> and you, and you okay. as well, obviously, KP. <laughs> I'm not that dangerous. <laughs> Maybe infamous, but not dangerous. Okay, nice. that's all. There they're all go. closed in, right? <laughs> okay. There we go. Yay. And I, I have a sign on hand. Now I just need to name it. Welcome to the circus, boys. <laughs> so the infamous dancing biggies. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. And there we go. Oh great! Oh, <laughs> and the circus act is finished without music. So if you give me a second, I'll oh, just yeah, 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 yeah. Play the music, maestro. Oh, look at the just... rainbows from them. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, I love it. And. Uh, my favorite sound. It's so good. It's so good. I can't see anything. Yay, and the rainbows <laughs> from the piggies. Here's a figure in. Nice. Finally, the circus has its first act. Uh, yay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let me switch this loop off, though, otherwise we'll be here the whole day. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Kyle did a really good job with this. this is, uh, he really did. So, uh, Kafiris, the real reason we have you here is we want to stress test the game. We think it's set up so that you don't need any help or explanation. So, Ooh, okay. welcome to Pakistan. Let's see if you can understand it and play it and set up our first high score. Ooh, okay, Wackistan. I mean, I'm not expecting to have an incredibly high score, but we'll see. Okay, welcome to Wackistan. Step one, press 
on button to start the game. Uh, Not yet. Okay. <laughs> I'm just looking to see if I can find it first. Okay, it's there. Uh, step two, wait for a stand to pop up. Step three, run over observer. Okay. Right, so that's... Oh, there's a piece of string on the observer. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, one stand, one point. Collect as many points as you can. Collect rewards from barrel. So this is the reward barrel right here. Yes. Right. Okay, so if I press the on button, I just have to basically, like, run, don't I? Yes. Yep. Okay. <laughs> here we go. You'll see the timer on the wacker stand board will count down as well. Okay. Ooh. Oh, this is like really intense. I'm like, where are they? Where are they all? It's nice to have a first time reaction as well. Oh, and let's see if you... Where are they? So no pressure, but Justin has a score set up and let's see if you can beat it. It's 21, right? That's the score. I think I so. I don't know if I'm going to beat that. Like, I'm just like running around like a maniac. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Give me you the... never know. Give me the stands. Give me the stands. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> ah! Is that it? Should be yep, time. It. Let's check your score. Okay, what did I get? What did I get? Oh, nice. Oh. 21. Wow. So, uh. The time. You, can add your, you can add your score to the scoreboard. Is it on this side? Oh, I see. So, do you put a sign on? Oh, so we, we drew even. That's obviously like an average score then. You can get more. I did get more, but I'm not adding my score. I'm the circus owner. And then what do you do? Just dye it. And just. Um, oh, sorry. I took, just, it from, um, I took it from the item frame. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, oh, not and then as you. As you head out, there's some more instructions. Oh, okay, okay. So... As, as you walk, as you walk oh, fast as yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm really good at this. Remember to press reset button after playing. Okay, so we come over here, wait for all the lights to be on. We're trying again, and then we reset. And then, oh, then the, those lights at the back light up, do they? Yeah, they'll oh. count up to the top, and then it's reset, and then you can go again. Oh. So what do you think? That's cool. I like that that little detail of the lights coming on. Actually, that is like an actual game. It's like get ready, get ready. I wonder if you could get um, Kyle to come back and do like a little a note block thing. So it's like boop, 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 and then it comes on. <laughs> just like just just to add a little like one more little dimension to it. Otherwise, like, it's fantastic. Yeah. It's a great game. That's the only thing. Only thing missing is just the sound. Yeah. Doop. Doop, doop. It just like adds that yeah extra little dimension to it. No, I like it. I actually quite like the orange as well. Like it's really like it's very vibrant. It's very circusy. Yes, yes, yes. that's what I tried, and then I added the the shroom lights, which it's actually perfect for the orange, and it lights up the whole place, so it's yeah. nice and safe. No, it's good. It's very like it reminds me like of like uh, an arcade, like it's sort of like a circusy arcade game. It's great. But now the problem is this is our best game, so all the other games from the <laughs> to be on par with it oh yeah <laughs> well um i was thinking i used to work where, where i used to live um they used to do what was called like a maze maze where they would actually like cut the uh the corn so that you could actually like get lost in it as a maze um so i was thinking i'd quite like to make a maze um would you guys like a maze <laughs> for the circus uh, the circus would officially like to hire Kaffers to build a maze for the circus. Woo! Yeah, I might. I'm not sure what I'm going to build it out of yet. Um, I'm going to do some designs, but I, I'd like to do well with with your help, Justin. Perhaps we could do a few jump scares <laughs> to go inside it. Oh, like, that will be fun. Yeah. So yeah, we'll have a we'll we'll brainstorm. We'll have a little think about that, and mm -hmm. then uh, I'll get back to you, KB. Okay, perfect. And then so there's nothing currently planned for spaces. You can infinitely go this this way so oh, yeah, just okay. find your spot and figure out what you want to figure out yeah i mean it's not going to be like massive but like you know just something just something a little bit fun with like you have to get to the center and and you might get scared <laughs> while you're in it because you know it's coming up to <laughs> halloween people people want to be scared <laughs> I, yeah this is nice i did not plan on hiring anyone for any of the circus expands yeah it's gonna it's gonna come along real nicely i think KB and Justin kind of derailed my plans for this episode, but uh, I'm actually having quite a lot of fun. 
I was a bit obsessed with hedge mazes when I was a kid. It took me like three attempts to say that correctly. <laughs> um, and I used to love them. I used to have like all kinds of like techniques on how to like complete them. And like whether it was a maze or a labyrinth, which is something completely different. Uh, but basically the idea is that you leave most of the time like a one gap for the actual hedge so the yellow lines is the actual maze itself this is not what it's going to be made out of by the way <laughs> is probably going to be leaves just so that you can see especially in these places around here that like you're looking at the middle of the maze but you can't figure out how to get to it so being able to see it through the center through the leaves is going to be a really good way to kind of like frustrate people and i've also put kind of little places where there could be alcoves or like areas where something fun could be happening or something to discover or something to scare you which was the other idea that i proposed to justin so i'm gonna see um what ideas he has in mind okay justin this is the maze what do you think it it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the last time I showed it to my viewers, it was just like a bunch of yellow wool. Uh, so this is like a significant improvement. <laughs> it now actually oh, is, definitely is a hedge maze. Um, and if you go inside it, 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 it is incredibly difficult. Like you will get lost very, very quickly. Yeah, uh, yeah. I bet. <laughs> and then like, you can and say, oh, dead, end. dead end already, <laughs> yep. Uh, supposedly I know the way around, but like I don't really, so <laughs> it's, it's like one of these ways is correct. You have to basically go all the way around, I think, to actually get into the middle. Uh, but the idea was uh, okay. that we could put a couple of like jump scares or something in jump it. Jump scares around? Just, just to spice it up a bit, you know? I think I can try and work with some work something around. Yeah, so if I build it in like the actual, on the actual server, do you want to come? Yeah. If I do it so that, like that it's only like one one grass high, <laughs> so you can actually like get around. <laughs> uh no, it, it's fine. You can build the whole thing up. You reckon? And yeah. then I will. Yeah. Yeah, and, then and I can walk around it. And just come in and and if I'm feeling brave, I might like hide some mobs in here as well. Like you know the the carpet trick where you put like three like layers of carpet. Like just have some in the dead oh, ends, but they're like trapped yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they like scare mm -hmm. you, but like they they can't really do anything to you. Yeah, that would be good because they'll definitely mess with people. Yeah, no, but <laughs> ah! the... well, I mean, if it's a skeleton, like they will shoot you, but like you can run away. Yeah. From <laughs> so, yeah, but it depends how brave I'm feeling. So we'll see about that. But yeah, in the center we'll here, this is where you come and collect your whatever. So I don't know. Should we have a trigger for that? So like when you walk in, it like triggers it to actually fill up with some tokens. I don't know. That is, that's possible to do. I mean, you can just put a pressure plate like here and yeah. then I can just set it to like dispense a, uh, a certain amount of, I think this is for KB, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. So, it's for so he's going to honeycombs. Yeah. And so would you be able to have it so like they trigger it when they come in, but then it doesn't trigger it when they walk out again? Um, is, is that might one? be boss. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know anything about redstone. <laughs> I, I'll have to mess around with that. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, maybe you could have it. So it does. I mean, we'll obviously have to trust people not to cheat and keep like walking back in again to get more tokens. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's true. <laughs> um, unless we like drop them into a hole, you know, like, yeah, you won. Now mm -hmm. leave. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> um, but obviously on the yeah. on the creative server, like you can only dig down so far before it's like <laughs> um, true. bedrock. True, true. Very but, uh, true. On the actual server, we'll have a lot of space to play with. So, but yeah. Oh yeah. That is. I'll, I'll definitely cook up some things to put in here. Awesome. All right. Thanks very much, Justin. I'll, uh, I'll catch you on the server then. All right. I'll see you there. I know I kind of scoffed at Lightmatica before, but actually um, it's quite useful for telling you how many materials you need. So I actually need a lot more than I thought I would for this maze. Quite a lot of green terracotta, quite a lot of black terracotta, quite a lot of coarse dirt. But luckily I still have quite a lot of gravel left over from my other resource gathering so that's not too much of a problem but I don't have very much plain terracotta uh, and I'm using terracotta obviously because your girl is done with making concrete oh my gosh no more of that so I think I'm gonna make this lot up into coarse dirt and then I'm gonna head over to the mesa which I think is where white fire lives and uh dig out a mountain that actually took me less than 10 minutes to get all of that I've left a nice little hole 
Nice little hole for uh, for white fire to discover. Uh, you gotta you gotta come here and not destroy all the hills and stuff. And uh, also, I realised I could have got a lot of my coarse dirt from here, but uh, never mind. Let's head off. I've had to run all the way over here because um, I'm almost out of rockets and I really need black dye so that I can dye this terracotta. Uh, and then we're almost ready. I really hope that there are some squid inks left in here. Uh, I am thankful for all the time that I spent AFK here. <laughs> right, Pig KB, you should be very proud of me. You should be very proud of me. Don't walk away. <laughs> because if we look over yonder, I have actually figured out how to use Light Matica. Let's go have a look at it. Oh, it's got this really cool feature where you can like make it like one layer at a time. So this is like the base layer of the maze. And you can see like the path is gonna be this bit here. And then these are gonna be where the hedgerows are gonna go. And uh, once I've finished building it, I'm gonna have to make it fit in more with the circus. So we're gonna need some wood and stuff to kind of build up, you know, a bit of an entrance way, but I'm gonna have it slightly elevated off the floor. So you like walk up into it. And uh, right, let's get building. It was going to be a nice time lapse guys it was going to be a really nice time lapse and there was going to be some beautiful visuals but every time i looked away there were freaking pillagers shooting at me and distracting me and now and now i've put the, the bushes on the wrong part this is supposed to be the path this is supposed to be the bushes why Right, I'm building up the outside walls, so hopefully this should mean that I can now build in peace. No monsters. No nothing. Um, also guys, I forgot to mention in my last episode that I've actually started collecting more heads from the trader and he like was over there somewhere, so I thought I might take advantage of that and uh, get myself some pumpkins ready for Halloween. And also Justin's head. I might actually have Justin's head already. Now I have two. And there we go. That is about as done as it is. I'm just going to put these flowers in here to have something nice for people to find other than, you know, the horrible things that Justin's going to put in here. And there we go. Horrible things? What? What is this about <laughs> horrible things? Hi, KB. Um, so the maze isn't completely finished yet. Like, obviously at the moment it would be incredibly easy <laughs> to solve <laughs> because the book oh, is oh, like okay. only one high <laughs> but eventually they will be three high so you won't be able to see like where you have to go come on in come on in i had no idea you were even working on this yet yep no i have been i have been tortured uh by 
pillager raid after pillager raid, but I have managed to get it to a place where they now can't come in from over there. So at least at least that is safe enough. <laughs> I, I, I should probably have warned you that I've, I've seen the pillagers around. I have no idea where they come from. I think they come from that beach over there, but that, yeah. So this is pretty much like what it's going to look like apart from the wall is going to be higher. <sighs> and uh, our good friend Justin has got some great ideas, which I won't spoil you for, but they are hilarious. So... <laughs> Nice, nice. I've always wanted a maze in one of my worlds, and I've attempted to build a few, and they normally look ugly. Oh, I can yeah. already see. I can <laughs> see where this is going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if you take a sneak peek nice. in the creative world, you'll see it. But yeah, it's gonna have. A, there's gonna be like a pumpkin king here, who like is the center of the maze as well. And then there's gonna be like a barrel down here where you get your little uh, your little honeycomb rewards from. So Justin's working out a way that it like puts them in as you walk in here as well. So that should be quite good, hopefully. Nice. Okay, so I'm 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 not gonna spoil it too much for myself and stare too much at it. So I'll leave you to to finish it and then I'll check it out again. All right. See you around, KB. And that, guys, I'm afraid is all we've got time for today. Man, have I been derailed. The base is being neglected again. But I'm pretty proud of this. I think I've done a good job, despite despite everything that went wrong. <laughs> but now what I need to do is go and collect a lot more leaves and leave Justin to do his part, which I'm very excited about. So hopefully in the next episode, guys, I will be able to showcase the finished maze with some little surprises. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one.